Saturday morning. Breakfast is done. Horses are fed. Time to go out and start our day. Beautiful morning today. Check this out. Absolutely no wind. Dead still. Perfect. Good morning, boys. Everyone looks like they've finished brekkie. Chaz is just starting out in his harness training. The plan is for Chaz to be our pony for at least two years, over which time he'll be our main harness pony. Scotty and I both work full time off the farm, so it makes it a little bit tricky to have more than the four in work that we currently have. This means that we had to part with um, a, a really, really good harness pony um, that we've had for the last seven years just so that I could focus on a young one again, which is where I get most of my motivation from. Just really enjoy training young horses and the different types of horses that kind of make you reevaluate every time you do it and makes you a little bit better each time.
still a little bit tense when we first start, but he settles really quickly. Before he goes in the cart for the first time, we'll do lots of work on the ground with him and continue to challenge him just to the point where we can hold it together um, and still make him think. But I'd like to see all of that tenseness when we first step away. Um, all of that needs to be gone before I'd be happy to put him in the cart. He went really nicely with the tire on, uh, but there were a few noises going on um, the other day that he wasn't really all that happy with. So I just wanted to try and recreate those noises um, of things happening over a short distance away, just like they would be in the show when you're in the show ring, there's stuff going on on the outside. So just trying to recreate some of that stuff. And what he showed me, the no reaction, is exactly what I wanted him to do. So I was really pleased with this. The noise that upset him was a block and tackle chain scraping over the back of the truck. Joe's a stock horse, quarter horse cross that we bought unbroken last year. We've started him under saddle and he's going okay. Our goal with Banjo is to just keep going, keep challenging him with realistic, real life experiences and he'll mature into a really nice horse. We're also teaching Banjo how to use a pack saddle so he'll be a pack horse as well.
today's ride wasn't Banjo's best work, um, but he's going okay. Particularly considering that he's had about the last 10 days off. and I absolutely adore this horse. He and I have worked pretty hard together over the last three years to improve his performance under saddle and he is now a very, very nice horse to ride. Now that his winter coat has come through, he gets hot. I believe healthy skin is the key to really nice coat shine, so I don't leave dried sweat on their skin wherever possible. Um, today he's enjoying a very nice tepid warm hose off. Whilst I've been busy working horses, Scotty's run into town to grab some more horse feed.
we are always looking to add to and improve on our working horse displays. We have a big display happening next weekend at Hayfield Machinery Rally. And with Hayfield being a timber town, we're going to debut our new display of log loading. This one has been in the planning and training process for 12 months. But we're not going to show you everything just yet. You'll have to tune in to Hayfield Machinery Rally next weekend. Next on the list for today was housework, outside housework. We stable four horses every night and it's always stable cleaning and stable raking for either one of us. Every day. Details of this plot will appear in a different video. But this weekend, we are planting wheat. Unfortunately, some local cockatoos have been tasting our popcorn. So whilst it would be great to just broadcast and harrow, we are really worried of turning this whole plot into a huge bird feeder. Scotty came up with the idea of remo removing two tines from our scarifier, which produces three even lines. We're hoping this will help the wheat to bury a little bit deeper and allow it to sprout before the birds eat all the grain. Good boy, Tom. Walking on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. We'll be out of work in a half. Shall we do a sharp turn again? Yep. Come right over. Right over, Tom. Right over, mate. Right over. Right over. Good boy. Right over. Walk on. Step. That. Ah. Tom, walk on. Walking on. Steady. Walk. Come over a little bit. Over a bit. Over a bit. Whoop. Walk. Good man. Good boy. Ready? Yep. Walking on. Walk on, mate. Walk on. Walk on. Whoop. Walk on, buddy. Walk on. Right over. Right over, right mate. Over, right, right over. over. 
Right over. Right over. Right over. Walk Eddie's on. Walk, walk. Eddie, walk. Okay. Yeah. Walking on. Walk on, mate. Come over a bit. Good boy. Come over a bit. Over a bit. Over a bit. Good boy. Walk on. Meet our new English Lester Ram. He's just doing a short quarantine after worming before he meets our girls. So that's it for us and Saturday daylight. Stable waters are done, feeds are done, breakfast is done for the next morning. Everybody's rugged up, tucked in, ready for tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed what a Saturday looks like at our place.